Hello, everyone. RPG Kingdom Kid here, back with some more Psychopaths Mandatory Happiness. In the previous video, we got the Those Capable End, which was an okay one, but like I said at the end of that video, I really like the endings where they're together and they're happy. Like the ones I got early on on Miss Kuzitowski's side. But anyway, we're going to go for the last ending of this playthrough, and then we can start the final playthrough. We'll, we're pretty close to wrapping this up, and it feels so good. But anyway, for this one, we have to hesitate. Why the hesitation? You became an enforcer, so you can be reunited with your childhood friend. So shouldn't you be the one asking us for our help? Of course, that's what I want to do. That will happen to Miss Kuzutashki. Charge memories of turn. Will Miss Kuzutashki be erased? That's trivial. Do you think it's trivial for a person to lose their identity? Being mere inspector with little value can't compare to someone who possesses the natural characteristics of a real life. Is it your childhood friend irreplaceable? Simon, you're going to kill Miss Kuzutowski for Yukari? It looks like we're done for now. Seems like Alpha has made his move. Answer my question. You seem to be much more sentimental than we predicted. Cool off and I'll wait for your answer. I expect a more rational decision next time. It's for your own sake, too. I backed out of the transport as if a domino was pointing at me. Once I was outside, everything was dark. It seemed like a power outage. Alpha no yatsu. Damn Alpha. However, Alpha wasn't the only one causing problems. Couldn't help but feel that way. Oh my god, shut the fuck up with that annoying fucking alarm. Thank god I could skip this. I mean, I pretty much skipped all this because it's like, well, I've done this before, pretty much. He wasn't really saying anything too worth noting. But this is different. Well, that was different. This was different at the time. There's so many of their personas. I'm going to get a turning point here where I won't ask her if she's Yukari. I probably won't be able to skip that portion. No way. I cannot agree with such actions. Robbing people of their lives is not something that Alpha should be doing. No one can describe their happiness but you. Right. I'm relieved to hear that. She was Yukari. Chief had told me to bring her memories back, but Yukari would have agreed with Alpha. Which is ultimately no different from Sybil's ideas, idea of happiness. This is Inspector Tsurugi. Is something bothering you? Yes, many things, but now's not the time. We had to stop the drones from killing people. Deep within me, my inner conflict was brewing. The woman who stood before me was not Ashiko Kujitashki. Was it really worth meeting Yukari again if it had to erase her identity? <laughs> Continued our battle with the dro drones. I was the only one who was targeted, though. And since Ms. Kujitashki wasn't, it seemed like her heel was corrupted. She was the perpetrator of the euthanasia case. Murder. If her memories really did return, then would she be targeted? Probably not. From what the chief said, Yukari was criminally ans ansmotomatic, as her heel 
would never get Cloud. After all, that was a necessity trade for Sybil. something. What? Do you want to save Alpha? I... She looked at me dead in the eyes as I held my breath. I am Alpha's father. It's my fault that he turned into this. And you scold him some on the right path. I agree. A child's thinking has been preserved due to its abandonment. Of course, he must atone for his crimes. But I do want to help him. No, I mean Miss Kujitaski. Sorry for ever calling you a droid. You're actually a really kind person. As if she was at a loss for words, she gazed down and smiled. I wonder where the, that child's mother could have gone. It was her. But if I had said that, what would have happened? Would that someone magically guarantee Alpha's safety? Nope. Thank you. Fast forwarding over some shit that we've seen. Oh god, they are going to have a turning point. Sami stood Miss Kujitaski. Her eyes were full of wonder. This place looks like it's from a fairy tale. Child's friend used to draw pictures like this. Maybe this is what Alpha used to dream about when he was young. Is the VR space constructed from Alpha's view of the world? How, extra how extravagant. Hey, you guys, can you hear me? Okay, I'm going to send the data then. It's a map showing Alpha's location that was discovered by the Cyber Warfare team. There's no need for that. We already know where he is. I miss Kuranamari, but we'll have to limit voice chats to a minimum. Looks like we've got some guests. I need to focus on my processing power to fight. You know, I, I wish... Oh... Uh, you know that scene where they're like, I noticed the okay text in the corner of my view? I wish they showed that in there, just for like a split second. Yes, this... I... Did your friend draw monsters like this? It's like the doodle, they blah blah blah, okay. It's literally the exact same thing. This is literally the exact same thing that they said prior. The only difference is that Yukari doesn't know that she's Yukari. Are you scared? That is an emotion. Do you mean you don't know how it feels? I can imagine, at least. The cobblestone streets of the virtual submarine city look nothing like the city where Yukari and I grew up. Now it's covered in nightmares trying to kick us out. Oh, don't worry about it. You see, I believe I have come to a point where I can understand and control it. Who taught you that? Experiencing con... What? It's surprising that even though you lost your memory, you can still utilize it, rather than let it hurt you. I think my past is sleeping inside me, but I can awaken it when necessary, and it actually helps me. Past. I guess that was true. There was something that I didn't know that ex exists within her. Something that I had tried to awaken but failed to do. Miss Kujitaski is Miss Kujitaski. My superior. My partner.
Dummies, it's connected. Like the dummies are actually time slowed. Oh, come the fuck on. This is the exact same thing. Family went by. It was like I was slowing to become paralyzed. Blah, blah, blah. A moment, Ms. Kusoy, right hand, she danced in the air, fingertips, 2D, re rendered. This is literally the exact same thing, except the only difference is that it's not saying Yukari, I think. Soon door popped and Scrooge stopped. He stopped turning back to face me. And now I'd step forward. It went open, but it was locked. But to make matters worse, there was in the keyhole or a knob, only a flat metal plate. Kimmy, Scrooge Talk, do you remember this? It's a shield we used in the middle school, right? Do you have any idea what exists beyond it? Maybe hostages? No, lies be ahead won't be hell or paradise. Without answering, I slammed my palm against the metal plate. Knob appeared. It was a familiar looking golden knob. One that I had touched many times. This door leads to home. This does room greeted me. Yukari's room? First time I came here was when I was just a newborn, and since our families are so close, blah da 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 da. She said motionless, her mouth agape, her eyes wide. Was her memories awakening? But only after a moment, our eyes narrowed, then wide. Uh, sir, no, I've come to scold you. Why? You're my son. That's what I wanted to say. But if I did that, your cursed memories would return. Then Miss Kuchitask, you'd be erased. My head hurts. Kuchitask, hang in there. I lunge forward, helping her stay on her feet. The virtual world high my sensory experiences. Saying a shock. Kuchitaski, my enemy. That's all you are to me. Why? I wonder about you. You're like a more important person. Hey, Kuchitaski. Who are you, anyway? I am not a Shiko Kujitashiki, Inspector. But that's just the person I am now. Even I do not understand what happened before I lost my memories. You and me. The same. What's going on? We're somehow similar. Even more than that. I don't know. Sugi, do you know? Who is she? And what is she to me? She. Boy. The one who judges your sins. Boy. She's the judge of your crimes. The same as she lifted her dominator. It could have been possible to bring back the memories of Alpha's mother, Yukari. But it was impossible to get rid of Miss Kujitaski. Even though it meant you losing Yukari again. 
Stop messing with me! Then red spheres materialize one after another. The color of AI secretary monitors. Countless eyes all staring at us like the sentinels of his distorted happiness. Alpha! Tsurugi. Kujitaski. I know you two. Guys are my enemies. Who's getting in my way? They circle us, shooting and glaring. It was like being stuck in a beehive. Unavoidable. Or actually, it was like we were managed as an MRI scan on overdrive. But it wasn't fail. We re-rendered our virtual bodies, creating force field to negate the damage, blah, 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 blah. Trapped in this odd space of time, she tried to move. It's like watching Bug Amber. Bring the muzzle. Though it was difficult to make up the slides when it was much talk. So must be happy. Queer Hugh. Wicked. Kiss her dominator. Muzzles. Flat. Finite loops. Finite loops. All this bullshit. Blah, 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 blah. Literally, we have seen this. It's different because of fucking nothing. It's not different. You want to be God, then try to bring happiness to this world. Oh, hold on. So it's only to say blah, 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 blah. You have to leave. Mr. Kuzaz raised a gun. What? Did, I already, I, did that part already happen too? Sorry, we're only human. Okay, no, this is a little different. I'll let this go. For that reason, we can't let you do as you please. You're going to shoot me? But I haven't done anything bad. Too bad, bitch. You dead. Mother! Thankful, you little brat. Everyone receives a suitable punishment for their crimes. Tsurugi, Tsurugi, are you alright? Uh. Everything was dark. I felt something on my face. When I reached for it, I ripped off my VR visor. And I realized I was back in the lab. Ms. Kujitowski rose from her bed. And she slowly removed her visor. And looked at me. Elimination complete. Great job. Oh, Miss Droid, don't cry. It's okay. What's wrong? What happened? Sorry, I do not know, but I feel like I lost something. No, I mean, do you remember anything? Not at all, but it hurts. I know. It's called loneliness. Loneliness. This is loneliness. Yeah, I thought something was sleeping inside her. After he had disappeared, her last memories were awakened. Possibly a custom by scene. However, it seemed like she didn't remember that she was Yukari. At least that's what she said as she quickly so quietly sobbed. Sorry. I should not be crying. Now this is Karanamri. Check how the situation is like in the city. Now that he's been eliminated, we need to make sure the power is restored. Yo. 
Bye. Roger. <sighs> Soon after the sea was back to normal, lights were on, joins were obedient, and this is the same old bullshit. That they should let me skip. Annihilation was avoidable. Blah, blah. Life resumed. We returned to Tokyo once again. The life as we knew it had almost ceased to exist on that island. The other eyes returned. Back to the grind, solving cases. Assistant Inspector Suzuki, can I speak with you for a minute? Oh. Yeah, so, with all the formality, though. I want to thank you properly for once. Thank me? I appreciate all the hard work you've done. Even when you were an enforcer, after working this case, you've earned my trust. Now I can't imagine anyone else being my partner. What I'm saying is, we're gonna fuck. We are fucking so hard right now, in my mind. Like, come on, we are going to cloud our hues with sex. Let's continue our partnership. From now on, please, Sarugi. I said Sarugi, I did not say Siri at all. Thank you, Inspector Kuzutaski. Great, but not calling me Inspector. Everything we've been through, please feel free to call me by my first name. Not a sheet go. You want me to call you that? Yes. After all, I think we have reached a point in our relationship to allow such a change. Yeah. Well, let's keep this up. Like, seriously, that is one... Or a good team, you and me. Like, that's the one thing that I need to hear is like, Yeah, people can't have sex, otherwise their hues get clouded. And that evening, I fled to the undersea subway station. I was waiting for the next freight train. Now so was around. Except for the joints, qu dro drones quietly doing their jobs. Glance at my wrist. Spare. Without my wrist comb strapped around it. Unlike the enforcers, I was free to remove it. So I did. By the time she noticed I was gone, the freight train would be long gone. Transporting whatever cargo was in it and me. The security around this area was limited anyway. I felt overjoyed when she told me that it was an honor to be partners. That's why I had to leave. I stayed by her side. I wasn't sure when I might trigger those do dominant memories. She'd only suffer, or worse, lose herself to the music, the moment you get, and never let it go. So she go. Be happy. In the end, I guess I was a murderer too. If I want her to be happy, I need to leave. I could only watch her from afar. Keep her lost memory sealed away. I had to bend all emotions, killing my own heart. Wow, what a not satisfying ending in any way possible. It's even long enough, too. I mean, I did skip a lot of stuff, but it was so similar to, like, the literally the one that we saw in the previous video that I was like, yeah, no, I'm not, like, I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna just look at some, oh, this is new I can buy. And that's it. So I have four of these things left, and then I'm done with all the pictures. How many scenes do I need to get left? I think I still need to get a shit ton of these. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. Oh boy. Um. Yeah, fuck it. Let's start off the next and final playthrough. Well, I need to open up my phone so I can properly see what the fuck to do. Go to one or A, I should say. Good. Thank God I can skip all this shit. The inquiry. Skip all this.
check his re residence. Investigate. I think this is actually new. Hmm, that's unexpected. Thought you were more of the type to rush head on. Just want to know more about Haruto. It's important to avoid forming an unnecessary attachment to the suspect. Not only will it affect your judgment, but it will also corrupt your own psychopaths. You're the one who should be saying that? It's not time to waste on idle chatter, Pops. Say, Mario, what's the procedure for this investigation? Uh, yes, first we'll go to the school that Haruto Sato attended. Masuno Mori quickly devised the plan and we head to the high school that Haruto went to. In the middle of our investigation, we re received an emergency call from Genoza. They found Haruto Sato. Location, the library. Are you serious? I said serious, not Siri. Hurry. Go to do the, it, the, the it's the study room. It's just a job. Oh hey, we still did like the right thing, and she survived without getting forced, and I think the guy didn't die. Don't take it. Okay, shook my very core. It wasn't something I could just mask with supplements. Didn't care if it was being point. I don't care if it I was being pointless sentimental. Okay. Don't screw around with me. The peace brought about by civil is necessary. I don't want to live in such a world. You should be careful, enforces Suruki. Bad thinking of yours is an insurrection against the stability of our society. Oh, is that so? Well, thanks for the warning. Blood rushed to my head. Yukari was so augmentative too, but she still had a charm to her. But even then... I'm not comparing my Tsukuji Tatsuki to Yukari. They were two completely different people, so of course their personalities and speech would differ. And yet, I was flustered. How pathetic. I feel as if Yukari might be right in front of me. Hey, Zaka, you free now? You're not on duty, right? Wanna go over to my room and play? Oh, nope, never mind. I've heard this before. Bring Genoza along, right? Yeah. Good thing I've done this one, too. Just keep fast forwarding. Everything you've done is the same. Don't take it. Your heel is going to be massively big. Or your heel is going to be massively cloudy, I meant to say. Not big. Ba 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 da ba 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 da da ba ba da.
Man, I'm just thinking like back when I started doing like when I started doing this psychopath let's play, I should have been fast forwarding through all these scenes. Like I've done them already. Hurry and just get a rough idea. I think I've done this before. Yes. Good, 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 good. Women with the young children. Good, good, good. Good, everything's coming up Millhouse. Everything's coming up freaking old. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, yeah. Whew. Infiltrate. Kill the mother. Come on and come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, let's go. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba the slow, the slow, the slow, all, all, all the same things, all the same things we've seen. This shit, fuck this asshole. I will shout in his face. He is a prick. I cannot fast forward because I never did this path before. You still call yourself a father? What's with you? Are you insulting me? You're the one who's taking us for fools. Stop it, Tsurugi. Stand down. Please calm down, Mr. Surugi. Don't screw with me. Aren't you all frustrated? Do you know how hard we work to save your child? And yet here you are, saying you want to throw him out? You act like you did me a favor. So have you saved the child. That's your job. Yeah, you're damn right. It's a cop's job, and I'm thankful for that. More than that, I'm thankful that pleasing someone like you isn't part of my job. Because fuck you, asshole. Well then, what should we do? Throw him out? Gari, stand down. Gami, I don't need you to get involved not right now either. He's creating a problem. I thought I'd just get him to leave. Wait, wait. Masa stepped in front of us, forcing a smile. He opened his palm, his mouth, and stuck hand in front of Saruto. Mr. Shia startled the father, took a step back. Oh, Mr. Mitsushima, you see, we are enforcers, sponsoring criminals. Tolerance isn't something we're practically, particularly good at. What? Are you threatening me? The only reason why we're talking is because we're trying to settle this peacefully. Otherwise, we'd have thrown you out by now. You see, we're not, you see, you're not welcome here. As Mr. Masakato says, bring your problems that you have with your child. Now, pushing those problems on us is a nuisance. You're a fucking asshole. Get the shit out of here, you bitch. You're the one who summoned me. Do not contact you to talk about such things. I wanted to give you the opportunity to see your child, Yuya. Are you saying I'm in the wrong? Parenting was Kane's job. This is all her fault. You have no right to intervene. I fucking hate this asshole. 
Until that to the person in charge at the MWPSB. If you really want to give up your kid, you'll have, need to go through a bunch of procedures. Give your speech, but... What? What are you trying to say? Don't waste my time, just say it. Fine. Then I will. Don't compete are you not to be able to support your wife. All you ever did was throw everything on her. Leave her alone to deal with it. Leaving her alone to deal with it. You should know I'm a fucking father, you piece of shit. This is an insult. No, it's common sense. All decent humans would think so too. Be prepared, boy. People are going to ask you the same thing over and over again. Always doubting you. I was... I was already at my limit. And so was your wife. But she had nowhere to run. That's the only difference. You had a job and probably cheated on her. I lost the words. Satoru gazed up. So startled, he took a step back, right in front of him. Miss Kujitashi stood, pointing the dominator. Crime coefficient is under 100. Not a target for enforcement action. Trigger lock. What are you talking about? No, it says 100. It says execution. Excuse me, I was just checking your psychopaths. And it seems it is deteriorating faster than expected. You should seek medical ca medical mental care at a specialized facility. I will make arrangements immediately. So, so no. But that's. Oh, well then, shall we get going? Let me go. I, I am. The laboratory mounts a seizure left. Geneza scolded us all. You idiots! Yeah, that's right. So what? I feel so refreshed after giving him what he deserved. I find that part of you to be very intriguing. Kutashki, I can't believe you of all people would do something this careless. Is that not protocol to check the psychopaths of all parties involved in a case? She's right. Tsunimori! It's our job to stop a person's psychopath from becoming clouded. There's no problem. Isn't that right, Inspector Genoza? This is ridiculous. Fast forwarding. Hold on. I don't take it because I'm a fucking rebel. Where is my psychopath at anyway? Fuck. Well, that's just like not okay. I guess they're probably doing this so that I don't become uh, don't go to counseling. Counseling is done when you're off duty. So if I didn't go, that meant I had free time. I returned to the temp lounging facility within the hospital instead. The nursing dormitory with the hospital became our living quarters to prevent enforcers from escaping. Place with high security was chosen. What a convenient jail. An empty room, one sleeping bag, and a toilet, as well as a few paperback books. I wasn't expecting to stay in this city for long, so I hadn't packed much. It wasn't a place someone could relax in. I ended up thinking about pointless things like this case. Yukari. Yukari. If I try to think of you, it never goes well. Just end up thinking about my parents for some reason. That's not good. Think about your parents when you think about your girlfriend. 
It's clear an after effect of this past case. Seems like it could take a while to shake off. I wonder if counseling would actually help. Squeeze my fist, crunching the crushing the document. It wasn't about to let something like this stop me. Yukari, Yukari, wait for me. I'll find you. No matter what I have to do. Okay, I believe this is the end of chapter two then, right? Yep, chapter two end. Perfect. I think this is a good enough spot to stop. So Alright guys, that is gonna do it for this part of Let's Play Psychopaths. Actually, hold on, I'm gonna I'm just gonna fast forward all the way to our first choice. But that's gonna do it for this part of Let's Play Psychopaths Mandatory Happiness. In the next video, we will continue on this path. There's actually not so much we need to do, honestly. Um Yeah, like we're on chapter three, and there's only three safes here that we need to do. I'm uh I'm just looking through this list here. Um, yeah, there's only three more saves I need to make, and then we're done. So, this could wrap up possibly in three or four more videos. So, yeah, that's great. So, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. So, yeah. Uh, so, let me know. How did you feel about that ending? It was That ending, A Night to Kill, was probably the worst because there was no conclusion to it at all. He's like, yeah, we'll be great partners. And then he just, and then he's like, well, I'm leaving you now. So it was dumb, I think. But anyway, so yeah. And as always, guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And subscribe to my main channel, too. That's in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, the RBG Kingdom Kid Twitter, are in there, too. I want to thank you all so much for watching once again. And I'll see you all next time.